Welcome back to Statesman.com, everybody, for the High School Blitz. And uh, Thomas, yes. Thomas Jones, my partner in crime. Today we're going to be talking about the four top games in the area for week two after a doozy of a week one. Let's start from the top. Cibolo Steel is going to play host to Lake Travis. Yes, and Lake Travis got beat. Uh, they lost to Judson last week. They gave it 323 yards rushing to Judson. Now they travel to Steele, who's a better team than Judson. Top five team in the state. Uh, they have a dual threat quarterback, Xavier Martin, who's very good. I think Steele wins a close one against uh, Lake Travis. The thing that bothered me, Thomas, about Lake Travis, you mentioned the defense. They gave up more than 500 total yards yeah. of defense, which is so unlike a Hank Carter coach yeah. team. With that said, I cannot imagine them starting the season 0-2. I think it's a big bounce back game. You know what they say about the best improvement between week one and week two. Yeah. I'm going with the Cavaliers. All right, Thomas, we've got a big game, Vandegrift at Cedar Park. What do you take? Uh, you know, two former district rivals, Vandegrift moved into Class 6A this season, but now they meet in non-district. Vandegrift lost a heartbreaker to Odessa Permian season opener. Cedar Park looked like Cedar Park in the win over Waco Midway. Um, I think Cedar Park has too much firepower for Vandegrift. I think Cedar Park wins this, but it should be fun. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Cedar Park too because you know they've won 17 in a row if you count state championship game yeah. last year. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take Cedar Park mainly because they are more balanced. They got a good run pass balance. Yeah. Vandegrift though should have beaten Permian the other day. Yeah, they they ran 87 offensive plays. Permian ran 48. So that tells me that they had a lot of missed opportunities. So I'm going to go with Cedar Park. Here's a good one. Vista Ridge, Dripping Springs, both winners in the first week. Yeah, interesting week. Two of the uh, more surprising results, Dripping Springs went to Bastrop and crushed the Bears on their own uh, home field. Um, and Vista Ridge went down to Corpus Christi and beat Corpus Christi Flower Bluff. Impressive win. Wow, I think Vista Ridge has moved up to 5A. I think they edge out Dripping Springs by a field goal. This will be a good game. I like Vista Ridge. Right. Remember this name, Ryan Landrum. Seven yeah. catches, 137 yards of offense. I, I see it as, as a possible high scoring game. I like what Dripping Springs has done, but Vista Ridge, too much firepower. I'm going with Vista Ridge. Last but not least, a team that I saw on Saturday night in Waco. Yeah. Georgetown playing Hayes, and that's two more teams that won their openers. Yeah, Hayes, they beat Eastview 26-18 last week, somehow despite 133 yards of offense. Eastview fumbled the ball four times. Um, I don't think Georgetown will turn the ball over four times. And Hayes still has to find some rhythm. I think Georgetown has found the rhythm in week one. I think they continue it in week two. I think they have another big game. I think Georgetown wins. I saw Georgetown, like I said, against uh, Fort Worth Brewer. When you have 500 yards of offense, you know you're doing something fantastic. Yep. The, the quarterback, Chandler Herman, sensational. 424 yards of passing. Bo Corrales, just a sensational. 15 catches, 191 yep. yards, three touchdowns. And uh, I just think from what they did last year till this year, they're a better team now than they were last year. Last year, eight and four. Yeah. Uh, like Georgetown, I think it's going to be a close game. And uh, well, anyway, that is our first four games of the week two. And I hope you join us back every week this season for the high school football blitz. Thomas, thanks as always. Thank and you. It's fun. we'll see you next time.